So as the campaign is approaching, we are putting many strategies on the table. I want you to listen to these bright minds and see their contribution. And I believe that if we can work based on the ideas they are bringing out, we are going to have huge success. So I want you to listen. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video so that YouTube can push it for other people to see. Thank you. But we have to like start, this is less than five months, to start giving those areas. Maybe if it's the imams we need to uh, meet, because if you go to Facebook of some prominent imams, you see them, they have, if you see their followership is really crazy and the truth about it is that you can always meet these people not that they are not approachable they are approachable so if we look at what happened in article even using his money he lost election then nothing i don't really like vote with money that's what i said that's one of even the cheapest areas to really campaign but they want to see that out of service that out of care and all that they don't just want it to come to them and say oh vote p2b they are not those kind of people so i don't know if there's how we can just start like immediately because i'm really consigned do you get to start going to this our loopholes because there's no time again do you get and if there are support group that are working for this area it's not about keeping quiet come let's discuss do you understand let's see oh this is the strategy can you do this and can you do that we of change we're just coming back from just on sunday then on monday morning rate of change sent me again to kano state i went to kano on monday evening by four in the evening so i in the morning on monday on tuesday i started moving around sabongari market kori market singa market and some rural area i met some people some didn't know anything about the movement of peter o you can i didn't, they didn't know anything about that i used a cap and shirts i just dash it out there I just bought another shirt in the market because someone told me that he liked the shirt that I'm wearing. I remove it and give him. And I called the chairman, Igwe from Abuja. I explained everything to him. He sent me and he sent me a money. I do little uh, some things there because you know the way Northern are doing the uh, the voting is different than the one they are doing in the east and some of the parts. Because you know now presently the moving we are doing now i want to say something please you know kano they have a more population and they have 44 local government there are seven local governments in kano which is that if we try to get four of them or five we have already finished in kano because the, uh, the summit they are minor they are not too much population like most of them local government which is nawa sarauni fagi Dala, Kuboso, and the rest, which is only Dala, contain over 3 million people there. A majority of Dala, there are youth. The next one is Kuboso. The Kuboso has more than 2 million people. Because there are some places that I look, it's good to have a banner in that place. First, the entrance, which is uh, by where that says orange, uh, what do you call this market? Let me continue. I'll tell you again. Like France Road, it's good to have banner there. And some places in Sabongari Market, we used to have banner there. And Nai Ibawa, we the first entrance of Kano. They had a, a big bridge in that place. We can get in touch with any group that is um, regulating Oshodi, Mushi. Um, um, Isolo, um, Jakonde, um, Bokno, Isheri Oshu, uh, Abaronje, are around all those areas, Iba, and all those areas, so that we can see how we can um, meet, harmonize our strategies, and spread more. Because I guess those areas we want to link up with the first stack match. Um, but this these areas you don't really see much of the sensitization going on for now i don't really understand why but on the lips of people around this environment they are mostly obedient if you if you talk to anybody around these areas they are really obedient people so how to really spread the word it may be by flyers or by um you guys, I hope you can still hear me. Maybe by flyers or by um, 
um, kind of jingles or something like that. I heard Mr. Ladipo talking about um, not Lagos and failed strategy. I was wondering what he was really talking. I've not heard of any violence in Lagos so far or anybody being harmed because of um, Peter B um, news, except for the initial time when they um, tried to um, stop one crippled guy around Oshodi Market who was spreading the news. Apart from that, I've not heard any such information. Plus, majority people living in this axis are... Uh, let me, I don't really want to go into tribe, but let me just say Southeasterners are uh, liberal minded kind of people. So you'd really find out that in these areas, nobody, I don't see any kind of harm happening. So I really just want to find out because from the last time I came onto a space and up till now, I've been able to talk to a lot of people and I found out that some people within this area didn't even try to register during the um, voter registration. So you have majority of old um, voter card holders around this um, environment. Ajao Estates, Ejibo, um, 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 Bokno, Oshodi, uh, 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 Mushin, all these areas. You have majority of old old um, voter card holders in this area they didn't really a lot of youths around here didn't really follow up on the registration and register i don't i'm not giving a hundred percent um um statistics but i'm just saying from the kind of people i've spoken to and um you know because when you go to filling stations you speak to attendants you be like hey are you who are you guys going to vote for are you obedient they say oh yes i'm obedient you have a voter's card you hear somebody say ah no i don't have my voter's card or hey i didn't complete my registration you know so being on that kind of thing we don't really have a lot of this fresh first-time voters that are ready to pump in that vote for um, our candidates. So let's see how we can go and sensitize the older group of people who are the older Lagosians who would naturally probably yield towards um, Sinumbu because they don't know any better or because of a little bit of sentiments or anything. If you live around this environment, you see that the Lagos state has failed this environment. So it is ripe for the taking. The roads are very bad. There is poor light system, poor water. And, you know, these, these people really want something different. But a lot of them don't really understand why or they are still a bit sentimental towards the the whole Lemilokon issue. So I don't know the groups that are in charge of these areas that I have mentioned and how we can link up and see how we can um, um, do some extra groundwork, you know, so that we can boost um, the numbers we have, you know. The three major places are Festac, as we and me, um, I hope I call your name well, we me, as you put, is um, Festac, Ikeja and Lekiva. But you see that you have a very large chunk of people that you left out because these people have to locate those three places else. They will, they will not really key into the whole thing. Um, I have friends from Ali Moshe who have told me that they, they don't even really know where to link up from. So I don't know how we can link up with groups around this Lagos mainland, especially Osho, the solo local government. Let us see how we can link up and so that we can know which which um, um, crowd we are fitting into. Is it the Festa crowd? Is it the Keja crowd? You know, where we can go and push in our numbers and, and, and increase our support base. All right. Thank you, guys. I yield the mic. So, um, like you stated, um, we have a Labour Party in Lagos. Um, a Labour Party, like we all, we all have established that they are either not doing their job or they are not financed. And we know that finance is also an issue. But then we also know that the Labour Party we are not sure, but we know very well that our focus is will be, and me, I'm obedient, you are obedient. Labour Party aside, it's the vehicle that we are using. So we want you, yourself, to be able to come together, bring those people that you know together, bring them together, form a WhatsApp group, form a small body. We stated this earlier, like yesterday, that once we are done with this rally, our committee, we are a coalition of several um, um, bodies that come together, several smaller coalitions or bigger coalitions come together to organize the Lagos rally. After which we are going to now 
align as a major campaign body for the election coming up. We are going to take responsibility for Lagos. We are coming to Alimosho. We said it yesterday we are going to have a two million match in Alimosho. After this Lagos match, we are going to dedicate a day for just Alimosho. So we need you guys to come on board, form a small body, form a small WhatsApp group. As you can see on this program, people are calling from the north, they are calling from the west, calling from the south. It may look like a small number, but it's a passing number. People are coming and leaving, they are coming, they are leaving. They are sharing and they are leaving. We have other things they are doing. So the number is here also. So that no matter how small it is, let's just come together, form that small unit. Select where you are going to be participating. Where I, I must, as, I, as I was listening to you, I was actually trying to put together a um, list of locations where we are going to be picking up people that will be following the buses that we are providing for that day. And then I realized that we need to put a bus at a gondo. So you guys, you can even help us coordinate the buzzer because I can't be at a gondo on that day. Uh, sorry, uh, Bandito, uh, sorry to come in. I see in time we are behind. Bandito, are you part of the forming young match for Vegas? <laughs> Bishop, look at the question asking me. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm, I am. Yeah. I'm just asking. Okay. Yeah. All right. And you know, you know, you, you, your name on on this is Ben. This is Ben. I yes, I use Brian. This is Ben. I use Brian. Okay, okay, okay. So I, I was putting together Dallas, and I realized that we need to put a um, we need to put a a bus in the gondo also uh, to link up with Festac. There's going to be a bus in Kokumaiko. There will be a bus in Jangbadi. There will be a bus in Agbara. There will be a bus, I think, in Yanoba Volkswagen there about to link up with Festac. So we are doing this. And I think on that day, um, for the guys coordinating Festac, we're able to get people from all these areas that cannot create smaller cells that we will start to work with to decentralize to the other interlands of um, Lagos. This is something that we are going to take up and start working on to ensure that people don't just come to the rally that day and go home and they make and go home, but they are also going to be able to form smaller cells of group of units that would come together and start to activate their local areas because we can see clearly that we cannot just leave this to the Labour Party. Labour Party has not even set up itself in all the 20 local governments in Lagos. We need to talk about the nooks and cranny of Lagos, but we know this is the obedience movement. Thus far, we have been the one that has piloted this movement to where it is today and we will not stop. So I hope I have answered your question with this. Thank you. <laughs>